Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, when a gorilla can't talk, who takes one? <laughs> <laughs> Come back here. You got off camera. I'm done. My show is done. <laughs> video in the Quest Adventure Racing Series and today it's going to be about hip mobility. Now I'll put my hand up and say I am not the best and I'm in fact one of the worst for hip mobility. Uh, I'm currently working on it though and I'd like to recommend Cafe Move, brilliant establishment out in the uh, Wilton area where Robbie is uh, in charge and he is uh, kind of a movement specialist and he's really into just natural movements and this is where we're going really rather than just uh, static stretches so I want I'm gonna give a video today on how we could maybe move our hips better through actual movement and maybe not as much of the holding stretches as you might think one of the first things you need to do is get some space okay show away everything in your way get some nice uh, mats and just roll around like a bloody monkey like we saw in the opening scene because that's how you're going to find out what you can do and what you can't do so here's a nice one to start with opening your hips like this you'll see immediately that if I let go of my left hand I'm gone this is because I don't have the mobility in my hips to stay up straight like this if this was correct it would not result in me looking like a torsion, a contortionist, okay? So, work with that, swap them around. Yeah, can you stay up here? I can't, maybe most of you can. I will say that years of cycling uh, has sort of caused a lot of tightness in around my hips that I'm working on years late. But, you know, I'm lucky enough to be kind of injury free, but that's not to say that that can stay that way the more running and other activities I do outside of cycling it's beneficial for me to get my hips moving better. So another thing the fitness industry is guilty of doing is just repetition in the same plane of movement. So we'd all have done millions of these squats or these kind of deadlifts and they're just, they're just backing up that same pattern. So let's mix it up, why not? Just do something weird like a, a mad spider leg squat where you just drop in in a, in a cross-legged position and then come up and repeat this making your hips have to move out of their normal range other way around yeah perfect this is this is what we're looking at doing here guys another one why not put a leg here and drop in to a single leg squat and up again you can see this is struggling for me because ah, I don't know. Robbie was showing us last Wednesday during his, his his movement class on a Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. for any takers, is animal movements. You see, this is where we can get a lot of good full hip mobility into play. Uh, we again, I'll try. I'll show you. I'm not saying it's by any means top standard, but again, you guys can try it and perfect it in your own time. So this is a sort of a, what do you call it, a dragon, what do you call it? Where you start in a squat. Again, if you can do a full squat like this, great, with your heels down. If you need to lift your heels up just to allow you to get into it, then by all means, we will, we will go like this. And it's a long reach through. Here's that spider squat. Twist. Again. Good. And from here, why not come back with the, is it the Komodo? <laughs> we 
again, I c don't quote me on these these animal uh, titles. Where we, we start in this sort of position, and I'm gonna lift the arm up, and then this way up, and hopefully you're seeing the hips are really coming up out of their normal range. Okay, play with it, they're all online, no excuses. Just you have to make one up to your wife or your husband or your partner or your friend that you're just acting maggot. Actually a maggot, how would a maggot move? It probably would squirm. So this is brilliant. This is what we want for our hips, is to squirm around, yeah, like a maggot. Because this is what's going to help us move more than a stretch, I feel. That's where we're going, that's the future movement. We're not neglecting the use of foam rollers and static stretching by any means. I think they're definitely worth putting in, but they're not the only thing, so I hope you get that from this video. Uh, so that's why I'm going to just throw that in now, maybe the use of... Uh, for me, I would be using some foam roller or uh, uh, it's on the table. Uh, two tennis balls stuck together is a good implement to just sort of loosen or get into the tight areas around the hips. Um, for the foam roller, you've seen it before. Find your sore area and move into it. Hold it till the area eases off, and then move on to the next area. All right? We can also use, move your hip, rotate it. So uh, I'm gonna bring my heel up and move ah, and down and up. So you're trying to move the muscle that you're trying to foam roll. You're going you're trying to get it to you use it, use the muscle that you're trying to foam roll into a pigeon stretch, all right? Or if I'm using my, my I'm stretching my right hip, the right heel onto the thigh by the groin area, hands stay up. Now, the back leg will want to slide out this way, okay? But you gotta really make sure it stays in line, and the more in line you put it, the more stretch you feel on your right hip. Breathe, we don't want to hold our breath here as much as you might want to, just relax into this one. Uh, make sure you're not sticking up at the top and, you're, and especially around your lower back, just let it sink into the ground. After a while, you'll find that you might be able to get down onto the elbows to relax here. If, if you can't and you, and you stay here and you're still feeling it, then, then just stay. Once you start to improve your hip mobility, you should play with it, right? Here's a nice one, it's called the Macau, and it's basically a sort of a flip that you don't need to be an acrobat to do. You can start with a sort of a flip to the side, where your legs are going to stay low like this. Okay, and you flip to the other side. And then the idea is to try to get higher. This is where we need to open up our hips. Again, I'm not able to do this, but I'm still trying. Let's go. And the idea is to get the hips up higher up above me. And that's the fail. Soft mat's important. So guys, I hope I brought some sort of ideas. That's all I could do today, just to get you thinking outside the box. Uh, get you moving outside the box as well. Uh, any questions? Ooh, that's my breath. Any questions, send them my way. And next week will be the final week where I'm going to just talk about the final 10 days leading into, the, into your quest adventure race. What you should be doing, eating, preparing, sort of final tapering, all that will be included. And I'll be bringing it to you for my holidays in Lanzarote. Ciao!